Generals, thank you for your beautiful uh, speech. My name is Eric de Munk and I'm on behalf of myself here. Um, <laughs> I've, I've got a question that's uh, about, I think, more geopolitical. <coughs> and um, what, what we see is now that America is re-engaging in Europe. For those who went away, came back. Very good, I think. Um, but I think also and um, that Europe should be stronger on itself, strong defense for communicating with the east of the world because Europe communicates different with the east of the world than America is doing. So wonderful, America is still in NATO and in the aid of to us, but Europe has to be become strong, I think, for a harmonious world. That's important. So I would like to know. Uh, how you both think about it. And one other question, small one, do the British join this Defender 2020? Are the British officers here? So uh, let me start, yep. please, because I'm not, I'm US and not Europe, and <laughs> I'll defer some of that to, uh, the British are participating, and as we speak, uh, the, the ship that's being unloaded right now is being unloaded by a British transportation company. Um, so the British are participating. Um, and so to the, to the rest of that question, um, you know, that's above my pay grade to answer uh, most of that question. Uh, I will just say that uh, we would like for our uh, NATO allies and partners to have as much capability as possible uh, to be partners in whatever crisis that we need to respond to. And so with that, I will... <laughs> Yeah, well, thank you very much. I think it's an excellent question. Um, but it's, um, I think, primarily a political question to answer. Because uh, in a democracy, it's, it's the political decisions that uh, allow uh, armed forces to, uh, to, uh, to be stand up and to be deployed. Um, but if you look from a broader perspective, well, what we see is that um, NATO as, a, as an, as an um, alliance has been a, the cornerstone for, let me uh, um, uh, mention the fact that it is for the Netherlands the, the cornerstone of, of, of security. Um, and then we get to the point that, well, can we do, as European mm -hmm. nations, can we do better than before? Yes, well, we, we, that's, been part, that's been the case for, well, from the very first beginning to, to, the, to today, because uh, the fact that we are uh, in a security alliance um, uh, should come with the idea that we have to grow better every day, today better than yesterday, tomorrow better than today, because there's a lot to be defended. Uh, and then it is, well, we can talk about high politics, but we can also uh, talk about what Europe can do to uh, become better and uh, to get the best out of the potential of each of those participating nations. And then we're talking about military mobility, and, um, and I'm, I'm really proud that we as the Netherlands took the initiative to enhance military mobility. Uh, General Gerard talked about interoperability, uh, the difficulty to communicate technically radios, data systems between each of those nations, there's a lot to be improved. That is also part of the answer to your question. We can talk about high politics, political arena, but also uh, to get the best out of the contribution of each of the nations. And, and there's still a lot to be um, uh, improved, let, let me put it that way, in each uh, and every aspect of uh, military uh, capabilities. Cohesion of the whole war? Um, well, coalition warfare by nature is difficult because if you bring two systems together, uh, you have to be interoperable. And not only on the technical side of the house, so data systems need to talk, uh, radios need to be able to talk, uh, secure communication, uh, common operational pictures, so there's a technical part of it. There's also a procedural part, uh, and I think that's covered quite well within NATO with the same procedures, tactics, techniques, to be able to work together very closely. And there's a third element, that's the cultural interoperability, to speak the same language, to understand from each other what we mean, and, and you referred to that as well, do we really understand what each of those abbreviations of each other's nation mean? And if we know what it means, does it, in, 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 does it create the same effect? So can we expect from each other what it does? And that's why um, the enhanced forward presence 
in Lithuania, for instance, well, it's, it's deterrent to any opponent, it's assurance towards the Lithuanian people, and it's helpful to become better in this regard. Uh, after six months of intense training with the nations that are participating, in, in our case it's Germany, Norway, Belgium and the Netherlands, those units are much better than they started before because they really understand, without saying many words, what it means, all of those operational um, effects you want to uh, achieve. So, I, I know your answer or your question goes high politics, but I, I think uh, there's a lot to be gained still on the operational level. Thank you very much.